Hi friends! This is Steel Fairy, and in the last episode, I um, said I would do some off-screen grinding, and I have. So, here's Neon right now, level 8, and I found out that it has Levitate, which I like. <laughs> okay, so, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can face him now. What? Ugh. I hate it when wild battles happen in one patch of grass. It's a level 2, eh, not even worth my time. Bye! Ah, oh, there you are. Professor, what are you doing? Even when zombies besiege our homes and our entire families vanish without a trace, there's still time for science. Really? <laughs> now is not the time for that, Professor. I've made a fantastic discovery, you see. Never before has a Pokemon been known to breed in the wild. Wait, then how are there so many wild Pokemon? Okay. And yet, here's a nest. Complete with egg. With egg. Right. Why is this worth calling me about? Take the egg, fairy. It's common knowledge that eggs only hatch when taken around with other Pokemon. But what about the parent Pokemon? I don't see any, do you? I feel uncomfortable with this. But that's the only one reason why I brought you here. I also wanted to speak to you about the zombie. Oh wait, did he say that's not the only reason? Uh, I'm reading too fast. Seems like no one wants to talk about anything else. Yes, quite. Well, I know you don't remember, but do you remember your brother? Three years ago, he beat the Pokemon League. That was a really stupid question. Yeah, well, I want you to go and find him. Find him? He and my daughter, May, set off west a few weeks ago to look for the source of the zombie infection. I haven't heard hide nor hair of them since. Uh-oh. So why do we need them? Other than the fact that one's your brother and the other's my daughter, <laughs> Your brother's the Pokemon champion. If anyone can beat back the zombies, it's him. The same guy who vanished without a trace when he went to beat back the zombies. My plan may have certain flaws, but it's the best we've got. So will we go? Alright, alright, I'll go west. Go to Petalburg. There may be survivors there who saw where they went. Okay, what do you'll be doing while I risk my life? I'll be trying to reconnect the old PC network so that I can try and contact survivors. Oh, okay. And take this. A Poképhone. Okay. I can contact you through that Poképhone if necessary. I might do that if I can find a lead. Okay. Alright, I'll see you around, Fairy. Alright, so I did grinding for nothing because he didn't even want to battle me. <laughs> Oh, hello. Jeez, bitch. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so now she's following me. So you're Professor Berch's new pet trainer? Um, what? Got you running his errands, has he? <laughs> you must be pretty weak-willed, but I suppose I could use the experience from thrashing you. Okay, I guess I didn't grind for nothing because she wants to battle me. <laughs> oh, God. Death Caller. Hmm. Interesting. Well, her overworld sprite did look very emo, so... Not surprised that her trainer class has a very... Um... Overdone name. <laughs> yeah, take that poison. Man, you taunted too late! <laughs> Oh yeah, um, for those of you who don't know, I am sick at the time of recording this, so if I do cough a couple times, I apologize. Alright. One down. Oh wait, she only had one. Okay. Hm, you got lucky this time. got lucky, that's all. 
I suppose I ought to tell you my name so you can tremble the next time you hear it. It's Alicia. Now let me pass. Jeez. Do I even need to heal? She barely did anything to me. Oh, I'm so trembling from the sound of your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I guess we'll be heading off in this direction. Nothing up there. Uh oh. Zombies! Maybe we'll get to see more zombie Pokemon. So do we have to battle the zombies and the trainers? Whoa, what is up with that sprite? Oh, Polyhag. It's kind of cute. Um, I don't think poison gas will work against this, because I don't know if the typings have been changed for zombie Pokemon, but if they have, I could definitely see them being poison. <laughs> Of course, I'm taking it out pretty quickly with just tackles, so I got nothing to worry about. Rotmander. Interesting. Not as cute as the other one, but looks kind of cool, actually. And what you just heard was a motorcycle passing. <laughs> or maybe it wasn't a motorcycle, maybe it was one of those cars with really loud motors. Anyway, I'd have died reaching Odale if it weren't for you. Please take these. I'm running now, I've... I'm running now I've reached this town? Whatever. Yay, I can run now! What? I think I remember something. My brother? What's he saying? Press B to use the running shoes. What a crappy flashback. Yes, I can run now. Woo! The running animation looks kind of silly, though. What is this, a Scooby-Doo episode? <laughs> Hello? Oh, uh, hi. Meet. Hmm. Sprite makes her, uh... Look very ghostly, so that was successful. Grayville. Hmm. Well, it certainly looks ill, I'll give it that. <laughs> uh, I should probably heal. Oh, I only have one potion. Whoops! I should probably get more. After this battle. I will definitely get more. Goodbye! And I should level up from that. Yay! And I learned smog. Awesome! Another Grayville, okay. This would be the perfect opportunity for me to test and see if they are, in fact, part poison from being zombies. So let's see. They are not. So I guess they just retain their typing from uh, being the Pokemon that they are. Of course, it's going to be spamming defense coral, so this will take longer than it needs to. <laughs> Alright, so, um, I'm going to go get some more light potions, I suppose they're called, and then meet you guys back here. So, while I was back in town, I took a look at the summary of the egg and found out that it is disease type. 
which means, um, maybe wild zombie Pokemon bred it? <laughs> Who knows? Munch, chomp, chew. The zombie is clearly eating, but you don't feel like seeing exactly what. Hmm. Mysterious. No item down there, but I do see one down the other side, so... I will get that. Yes. Well, at least the berries haven't gotten infected. So that's good news. Wonder if we'll still be able to do contests in this game, even though the world is being overtaken by zombies. Guess I can't look and see what he's eating. <laughs> But I can get this item. A broken heart. Now what does that do? One of many that the plague has left in Hoenn. Hmm. Maybe I'll get some answers later. In the meantime... Zombie attack! Another Rotmander. Alright. At least uh, the growls sound the same. It'd be really weird if they had like this really creepy, gurgling, undead sound, you know? Of course, with all that growling, made my attack lowered significantly. Nah, I better heal, just in case. Ugh, I hate being sick. Maybe I'm disease type. Ha! Oh, sure, I get a crit when I don't need it. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for these zombies crumbling into dust. Then again, how exactly are they crumbling into dust? I'm beating their Pokemon, not them. Oh well. I guess I'm just reading too deep into it. So anyway, we get to see another boil Boil Boy, that's a quite a tongue twister. <laughs> My poison move won't come in handy at all against him because he is part poison. So I will have to use it against the next team member. Uh, never mind, it's another bo boilable sword. Man, I will get the hang of saying that eventually. Of course, it keeps lowering my attack. Oh my god. So this is gonna take forever. Eh. I don't know, I feel like he's gonna pull some dumb crap. This is taking forever. Stop lowering my attack, please. Alright, I'm gonna use it now because I don't want him to crit or something. Yeah, um, about my theory about the critical hits being um, upped in this game, I don't think that's really true, because um, when I was grinding, I didn't really get a lot of them, and I didn't see a lot of them. I guess I just had bad luck in that one battle where it kept critting against me. Okay, 
Well, I finally made it to Petalburg, and the Pokemon Center's gone. <laughs> Why? And I have to battle somebody else. Ugh. Woozle. Okay. I missed! No, don't miss. Come on, Neon, you can do it. I have faith in you. Using all the potions. <laughs> hmm. Smog and Tackle are doing basically the same damage. So the design for Oozel is basically a brown squirrel. Interesting. But then again, uh, the other one was basically a green Charmander and Bulbasaur. But at least they had like red eyes. That one didn't have red eyes. Oh well. Zombie crumbled into dust. Hello? Well at least there's regular people around here. This woman appears to have had her legs gnawed off, which accounts for why her corpse is still on this chair. Will you loot her corpse? Uh, uh, moral choices? Screw it, it's the zombie apocalypse. There are no mor morals. <gasps> yes, um, okay, that was, that was good. <laughs> I made a good choice. Well, maybe not a good choice, but I made the correct choice. Anyway, before anything else happens, I'm gonna leave it off here. Because, uh, with the Pokemon Center being gone, I'm a little nervous as to what could happen. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this, even though I'm sick at the time of recording this and probably sound a little bit, you know, stopped up, but... In any case, hopefully next time I record, I'll be feeling a little bit better. So, until next time, bye!